friends welcome to my video in this video i want to give you necessary information about the contactor this information include component of the contactor and wiring and its applications the contactor is a magnetic switch that connect and disconnect the electricity contactors have three input at the top and three outputs at the bottom it also has a coil that activates the contactor by connecting to the electricity. Each contactor has an upper limit for passing current, which is written on it. That for this contactor is 18 amperes. The contactors also have two relay known as normal close and normal open. From this part, the contactors are placed on the rail in the electrical panel. Other contactor details are written in this section. When the handle is pressed, inputs and outputs are connected. Now we want to test the contactor with a multimeter. For this, we put the multimeter on the beep mode. If you don't know how to work with multimeter, refer to video link now. We put two probes on the input and output of the contactor. When we press the handle, the multimeter should beep. If you like the video, press press the like and subscribe button. And this means the contactor is healthy. Now we go to the relay test. This is a normal closed blade, which means they are connected together in a normal state. And this is a normal open blade, which means that when we press the handle, they connect together. Now we test the relay. When we press the handle, it beep. And for the upper blades, when we don't press the handle, it beeps. Now we go to the coil wiring. When the electricity is connected to the coil, the contactor handle is pressed automatically. The coil of this contactor works with 220 voltage. We measure the voltage with a multimeter. The voltage is suitable. Now we connect the phase and null wires to the coil. Look carefully. Now we test the contactor. Now we want turn off and turn on this lamp with the contactor. Pay attention to the wiring. We connect the phase and null wire of the lamp to the output of the contactor.
Also, we connect the phase and null wire to the input of contactor. For simplicity, we connect the phase and null wire from the coil. In this part, we want to wire an error light. For this, we want the null wire of the lamp directly. And we connect the phase wire of the lamp to the output of the contactor. Now we connect the input phase wire to the input of the contactor. With this, when we press the contactor handle, the lamp turns on. Now we want to connect the error lamp. For this, we connect a phase wire to the input of the normal closed blade. The error light has a phase wire and a null wire like a normal lamp. We want the error light to turn off when the lamp is on and vice versa. For this, we connect the phase wire of the lamp to the normally open blade terminal and connect the null wire directly. Now look carefully. The lamp is on and the error light is off. The lamp turns off and the error light turns on. Thank you for being with me until this moment. Good luck.